Okay, hello guys. Uh, welcome to episode number ten of uh, our Technic Pack Let's Play. And uh, my uh, my PC is lagging a bit, I guess, because of all the machines. But as you can see, this is like our finished project of uh, the house and uh, everything like that. It looks really nice, I think, and uh, uh, very efficient. I can go and show you um, the roof just for. Uh, we just made like a tiny room here uh, with uh, like a place where you can check where the back back box uh, how much power it's got and you can go even further up here and then you can just see the roof it's um we can't let really like cover up uh, the top of the solar panels because then they won't work so we just have to, yeah but it um it looks uh, at least decent enough so um you might be noticing that uh, this item which is uh, quite new from the last episode which we made and this is actually a chainsaw and it's um uh, quite fast on uh, trees and stuff, uh, a lot faster than an axe and uh, the good thing with uh, this tool is that it never uh, wears out, you can't really destroy it but uh, you still see that it has like a health uh, bar, uh, but that's just like the charge because, health uh, bar? Yeah, but, yeah, but it looks like a health bar yeah. because uh, all the other items have uh, health bars or, or, or all the other tools, so basically you just have to have a bat box or something like that and then you just chuck that chainsaw in there, I think it's in the top spot yeah, and now I can see it's draining and it's filling up the chainsaw, and uh, there we go. That's a fully charged chainsaw, and um, it's uh, like wicked fast on trees, and it's just it's not too hard to make. Uh, I'm not gonna show you because I don't wanna, I don't really remember, but um, uh, yeah, you can just check on the wiki if you really want to know. It's quite easy to make. It's um, just like I think it's five iron ore and like and I have like electronic card and the battery, so quite cheap too. Yeah, compared to making like twenty axes. Yeah, and uh, uh, okay. So if you <laughs> if you remember back in some of our other episodes, uh, I uh, mentioned one time that I was going to show you how to make diamonds, and uh, I think that it's uh, due time to do that now. So uh, what you'll need is to make one diamond. You need one stack of coal dust, which is made like to like in a macerator with the uh, coal, and then you need eight flint, and you can actually get them flint from macerating gravel. I can basically just show you this. Uh, if you place gravel in the macerator, then that will start grinding and make flint. Uh, one flint for each uh, gravel. And then you go to your crafting table and you just divide this up into bits of eight and place them out like a uh, chest formation and then flint in the middle. Now you get eight coal balls. And uh, now you have to. Uh, if you remember the compressor that we made the last uh, in the last episode, you just place the coal ball in the compressor, and then you can see it starts working. And uh, that will probably take a while. Um, and uh, well, you already, you already made it. Uh, yeah, yeah, and, I made uh, two actually already. So, and uh, we can just give, oh, you, give you some basic information about uh, the industrial diamonds. They're basically exactly like normal diamonds. Uh, they look a bit different, but. Uh, you can use them in any recipe except that like that includes diamonds, except from armor and also a jukebox, I think. But you can make tools with it, and also uh, a couple of industrial craft uh, recipes include uh, diamonds, so uh, that way they are really useful. And as you can see, uh, you get uh, compressed coal balls. Uh, I'm just gonna wait for all of these to uh, finish, and it's probably gonna take a while, so. Uh... Yeah, and. Um... What we're going to do uh, this episode is basically just more of uh, showing you how to make stuff and uh, we're gonna make a drill quite uh, soon. Yep, I get materials right now, so uh, you want them or? Yeah, I can just take them to show you. Uh, then, and that one, and just take this one too, so. Yeah, <laughs> okay, so my friend here made uh, two uh, industrial diamonds and this is what they look like. They're quite similar to uh, normal diamonds and yeah. Not really too interesting apart from that, but I can just show you uh, like a shovel. You can just, you know, see you can make a perfectly normal diamond shovel with uh, industrial diamonds. But I'm not going to waste them because we need three of them. So, um, it's just, okay. Um, if I remember correctly, uh, to make a drill you need a... Uh, you need it like... Uh, yeah. uh, <laughs> like... Okay, you need a battery. Uh, <laughs> And five refined iron and and an electronic circuit, and then you place the battery in the bottom center thing, I think. No, yeah. Yeah. And then you place uh, the el electronic circuit on top, and then just fill out this like iron, and then you get a mining drill. Uh, and the mining drill is basically like uh, I think it's like a pickaxe slash. The compressor is done now. Just, just oh yeah. Okay. It, so, so just yeah. So let's just make that fast. let's do this. Um, you need one block of uh, 
You can either use some um, for this next step. You can either use like one brick block, or uh, just you can just give me one because I don't have any. Uh, uh, do I gave you one like two yeah, minutes ago? Yeah, but it fell on the floor and you picked it up. So. Oh. Uh, or you can use obsidian, but obviously bricks are a lot cheaper and easier to find. So um, going out to find more clay. Yeah. yeah, and then you just place it like you did before with the flint, and then you get one coal chunk. And this is one coal chunk is is essentially one diamond. Um, or industrial diamond. So you just chuck that in the compressor and you wait for a bit. And uh, the tension is really rising here. Uh, and you get a. It'd be fun if it actually uh, failed. You <laughs> get an industrial diamond. Hooray. Whee! Yeah. Yay. <laughs> okay. Um, We're so happy right now. And uh, now we have this mining drill, but we want to make it a bit more efficient. So what we do is we place the mining drill in the crafting table and surround it like this with diamond and you get one diamond drill and this can be done with either um, industrial? Just, uh, industrial diamonds or regular diamonds but yeah. I, w I w actually want to show you one thing uh, because this is quite important to remember when it comes to um, industrial diamonds like versus regular diamonds because if I just take one diamond here and uh, try to craft, let's say I put the drill and then one diamond like this and then two industrial diamonds, it doesn't work because you can't combine the normal diamonds and industrial diamonds in a recipe. You have to have either all normal diamonds or all industrial diamonds. So, uh, well, that sounds like. Yeah, but uh, I, gu I guess I understand why they did it, yeah. just to make it. Uh, I don't know. Okay, so uh, here we go. We got our diamond drill, and um, let's go up on the roof and charge. What? what? Oh, and uh, charge this thing up. Uh, and um, yeah, and I'll show you how it works. And it's really, it's basically just like a lot more efficient than. Yeah, uh, it never breaks. Either, so yeah, it never breaks. So uh, it's like a, it costs a little bit more than a diamond drill, and it's like ten times better. So yeah, so you can see it uh, uses like eight thousand EUT for one charge, but I think it lasts quite a while. I don't yeah. Know. So let's go down in our uh, and the, down down here we've been doing some uh, branch mining, and if you don't know what it is, it's just basically this method of. Uh, like getting a, a maximum or output of how much stone you dig, and we have been doing it quite a, quite a lot. But I'm not gonna do it uh, that much now. Uh, I'm just gonna do it uh, so that I can show yeah. you. It's quite boring to watch too. So yeah, but as you can see, that oh, there's a skeleton. Oh shit. Thought, yeah, but uh, basically, branch mining is just that you uh, dig like a big hallway sort of, and then you just dig every two blocks. You dig like a hallway in, and then as far as you can see, basically that's what how we do it, and then. Uh, you do the same because then you can see like you can see all the ores that are here and all the ores that are here. But um, as you can see, we've been doing this uh, for quite a while. Uh, but let's uh, see how this uh, drill does in action. So uh, as you can see, it's quite fast. It's uh, I think it's about as fast as in diamond pickaxe. Um, but it, it's it, it's also fast on uh, dirt, which is so it's, I think it I think it is. It's like a shovel slash uh, pickaxe, which is quite nice. So let's test it on dirt. I don't know how fast it is. Um, yeah, okay, so it's actually really fast. So um, it's the ultimate mine. Yeah, uh, but as you can see, okay, it, it wears out quite quickly. I don't know, um, but I guess this can be used for you know mining obsidian if you don't have a diamond pickaxe or um, just basically um, if you're tired of the same old uh, diamond pick, you can go a little bit more uh, high-tech and just make one of these drills and you know it, it looks cool and it's fun to use so um, yeah just go do it if you uh, if you play with the, the Technic pack you should tr tr just make one it's not really expensive and you think we can charge it with a battery? Uh, I don't know I don't think it has like a input oh. so we'll, we'll, <laughs> we'll need like a bat box anyway but mm, uh, that's it. let's see here um, oh it's getting dark and as you can see, I, 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 you can probably mine every ore because it has diamond. Uh, and uh, wow, there was a lot of emeralds here. So uh, it's basically just a good, uh, good tool. Um, but now on to something a bit more uh, not well, not serious, but it's um, something a bit different because um, we've been playing for like a couple of weeks now, I think, posting episodes. And uh, isn't it like two weeks now? Yeah, I think it's. I think actually today, or at least when we're recording this on the sixteenth of December, it's been like exactly two weeks since we posted our first video. So, um, yeah, that's <laughs> anniversary. Yay! Yeah. Oh, and, we don't have any cake. <laughs> uh, and um, uh, you know, uh, we ha we do we go to different schools, and 
so we have different schedules and stuff like that and um, sometimes it gets hard to you know make enough episodes to be able to post uh, like every other day or at least we, we, we try to post every day but uh, usually when we record we record like four or five episodes in a row and yeah. then we post those over the week uh, anyways uh, should we go? <laughs> are you in the base let's go to sleep uh, yeah but uh, back to the serious stuff uh, we <laughs> We've been thinking about making uh, some other uh, gameplay videos, uh, like Probably like Skyrim or something. Yeah, uh, we've been thinking about you know making some solo uh, gameplay for when we're at home uh, or can't uh, record together. And my friend uh, he's um, been playing yes uh, a bit Skyrim, so oh, he. It's awesome. And also you know I'm playing on a Mac and I do have Skyrim on my Mac, but it's it really sucks because you know Skyrim is not made for a Mac, so uh, he might be making some uh, Skyrim gameplay uh, for you to enjoy. And uh, oh, <laughs> by the way, this uh, is another tool uh, which is basically an electric wrench. And if you remember, like the wrench, do you have a wrench? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, this is like the normal wrench, oh. and um, you can easily upgrade your normal your normal wrench to an electric wrench. An electric wrench actually don't break yeah. either. So all you have to do is charge up with uh, electric. So uh, plus th this uh, this has like a hundred percent output when it comes to removing machines so uh, your machines will actually never break as long as you use this wrench so uh, that's quite a useful tool I'll the wrench is thick yeah <laughs> um, oh. so um, but anyways and uh, yeah he been he's been thinking about doing some Skyrim and I've been thinking about quite a diff couple of different things uh, I actually really want to do like a Pokemon gameplay I, I love to play Pokemon uh, like especially like the old school Pokemon like oh, Pokemon, so Pokemon really Blue, funny. Pokemon Red and um, uh, yellow and also like silver, gold and stuff like that. I really love those games, so uh, I really want to do like a let's play on those uh, or one of those. But um, I'm not really sure because I don't I don't know what uh, you know you uh, who people who watch. I don't know what, what you will enjoy the most. So uh, maybe also do some um, do some Minecraft single player, uh, either like a let's play or maybe like adventure maps or uh, other maps. Or like yeah, like mod the sh uh, spotlights or anything like that. Uh, Let us know what you want to play. You want Skyrim or Pokemon or whatever. Just yeah. name it. Uh, just uh, because this is really important because I'm not really sure. So uh, just uh, leave a comment telling us uh, what you want, what you want to, um, uh, what, uh, what you want us to play. Uh, so uh, for me, it's uh, basically a choice between more Minecraft or uh, Pokemon or. I don't know. Maybe some, maybe something completely different. Just leave me as long as they're um, uh, Mac compatible. I can, I can. We can also do like uh, PS3 gameplay. We actually, we have a few friends that have some HD PVRs uh, so that we can record. But um, uh, preferably something that's on, that's on the Mac. So uh, yeah, I do. I do also have a Windows computer, but it's really old and bad. So do I get the same computer as you almost? Yeah, but mine's a bit old. So. Um, uh, okay, uh, how about if we make a <laughs> red alloy? No, how about if we start with a little red power? Uh, maybe, I don't know. Uh, do we have... Yeah, uh, we can actually make some... Just take those bricks and make... It's kind of like a furnace, only it makes red alloy, no, red alloy ingots. Which um, is quite useful red, in red... No, it's like redstone, only you can... Yeah, you, I'll get to it later. Okay, <laughs> so we've uh, yeah we must have been using the uh, industrial craft mod up until now, uh, and also like a bit of the like more ores like emeralds and stuff. Um, and basically, uh, if you think industrial craft, the next step for us is actually to make a nuclear reactor. Yeah. Which is really really expensive. Um, <laughs> the generates a hell. No, it generates a hell lot of power. So. Uh, and we're not gonna be able to do that in this episode. Uh, Fucking other things like. Two hours just to make the machine. Yeah, so uh, we'll probably just this episode just finish off with some uh, red power, which is also in, implemented in the uh, technique pack. And uh, what I what you can see I made here is a red alloy furnace, which is made by just placing bricks in a chest formation. Should we pla place it down below or like uh, in this empty room? Yeah, let's just make it right down here. We'll place it there. And uh, yeah, you can see it has like an input with uh, a crafting table uh, formation, and then one for fuel, and then an output right here. So uh, we we'll need some. Show them. Uh, what do you actually need to make those red alloy ingots? It's uh, coal or wood for fuel. Yeah, that's just good. Uh, you probably now you need uh, some type of uh, ingot, any type actually. Everything works, and you need you redstone. Use? What should we use? Uh, the... Take something. Have Silver. A yeah. Does it work? 
Yeah, it works. Okay. I think so. Uh, then, then you need three redstone for each each ingot. So let's just yeah. make a big bunch here. Let's see if this works. Uh, no, it's not. no, you <laughs> need uh, three. No, yeah. no, I mean what? like three, like uh, around it. Still doesn't work. Yeah, well, then silver doesn't work. Okay, so let's wait, see. I got some cover on me. I think I can try to use that. That works. Yeah. Okay. So um, yeah, this is our um, ingot chest. We have uh, we have quite a bit of iron and stuff, so that's good. Uh, and anyways, you can see this cooking, and we get one uh, red, red alloy, alloy ingot, ingots. which basically is just a red alloy ingot. And you can't you <laughs> need you you need uh, three of them before you can actually do anything. So uh, let's just wait for those to cook up while we um, we can actually just go ahead and make some more diamonds. You know, just because it's cool to have some industrial diamonds. Uh, Probably, yeah. I put some more coldest in the oh. mass rate, by the way. Yeah, okay, that's good. Yeah, I get like a little bit here. Um, mm -mm. Should probably mine some more too soon, so. Uh, yeah. Maybe doing that before the next episode. So now we got some of these allowing us, let's just wait until we have. Uh, yeah, one just more. check one thing. I just want to see if this works. Yeah, okay, so uh, let's go up to the our crafting table and uh, you place the red alloy ingot like uh, horizontally like this and then you get 12 red alloy wire. And the thing with the red power mod is it's essentially just uh, redstone except oh. with so many more things. It's just like yeah, you can okay, basically make it. <laughs> you can basically make, you know, the standard like vanilla redstone is quite complicated if you want to make like big structures and stuff. But uh, with this you can get, um, yeah. You can get the uh, like big uh, things that would usually take uh, up a lot of space. You can get like into one single piece of machinery. So red alloy uh, wire looks like this when you place it down. And um, I can just do you have any redstone? I can just uh, no, I don't actually. And it you know it, it just works like uh, normal. Yeah, but it doesn't have a range. It can go on forever without any. Yeah, the thing is, you know, yeah. normal redstone, uh, it uh, it can only go uh, so and so far, uh, which is why, you know, they added repeaters so that you can extend how far redstone can go, but this one goes on forever. And you can also place it on walls, uh, and uh, like this, which is extremely useful. Um, yeah. And it looks a bit retarded, but uh, yeah. It works. Uh, so it's basically just an awesome mod, and... Um, you can also color these uh, wires so that, you know, like uh, when you have, let's say you have one wire <coughs> that's um, red and then you can make, take some uh, blue wool and make your red, uh, no, make blue. Actually, that doesn't work. You need, the red one hooks up with every every type, so. Oh, well, okay. But, uh, kind of sucks, but, yeah. This is an example. Uh, let's say you have pink and green wool. Uh, no, not, uh, yeah, but uh, alloy wire. And then you can just place <coughs> the green one down here and then the... Because you can see these connect, but if you would have green and purple, then they would mix together, which is also quite useful when you. <clears throat> but um, we won't be going too much into detail with this. I think uh, no. we're not too uh, experienced with redstone and stuff, so. Yeah, that's true. We'll just uh, take it easy, but uh, I can basically just show you. I'll probably use some when I make uh, what's it called again? The nuclear reactor. Oh yeah. Huh. <laughs> You can actually make hybrid seeds. Oh. Hybrid stuff. Okay, do, don't don't bother. Uh, I didn't really know you could do that, but uh, hybrid seeds is just part of this crazy like farming and food mod, which is also all it actually does is make you get two corps out of one kind of. Yeah, it grows you're... on top of each other, so it's kind of retarded, but it works. It's more efficient. So. But uh, let's just do a small demonstration with this. Uh, do we have any? I can use. Uh... Do we have any wood? No. no. Uh, if we wait a couple of minutes, I can probably make a lamp. Uh, no, I can just make like a wooden, uh, what's it called? Uh, uh, like this. Some trapdoors. Trap just to show you basically how, or, I mean, th this isn't really complicated, this redstone, especially just redstone, uh, but just a lot better. So uh, A lot easier. So show you, you have some redstone here, you have a trapdoor. Here and okay. Yeah, to place it on the stone. So let's do it like this, like this, and this. Then you can power it, and it opens 
closes, just like normal redstone. Um, and you can also uh, just show you how it works when it goes on surfaces and stuff. <coughs> There's one there, one there, one there, 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 there. Same thing, opens, closes. So, uh, yeah. I think that's as far as I'll go <laughs> into the mod. My friend will probably do some more stuff with it, but. Uh, probably show you some behind the scenes of the nuclear reactor. Yeah, when that time uh, comes. Yeah. So, uh, this episode's been way too long now, so <laughs> let's uh, cut this off right here. Uh, remember to, uh, you know, uh, just like and favorite and all that crap. And uh, most importantly, you know, leave uh, suggestions for games that um, we can play. Because, you know, it's, uh, it's fun to let you uh, decide a bit too, because we're really not certain of what we're going to make. So, be sure to do that, and uh, I guess we'll see you in the next episode. Yeah. Bye guys. <laughs> Goodbye.